안녕하세요. That's Hello for Korean. Um, my name is Heather Jung, and I'm a cooking instructor at the Korean Cultural Center. And you may find a lot of my recipes um, all on, on the web. Um, today, um, I'm going to get you connected in your community and celebrate food uh, with kimchi. And kimchi is Korea's uh, uh, most popular uh, side dish or food. It's the heart of all Korean cooking. We've, um, uh, we've had it for thousands and thousands of years. And Koreans uh, can have it three times a day or even more, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. That's how much we love kimchi. Um, but today I'm going to show you how to make a quick one because the, the traditional, the real proper one takes uh, uh, quite a long time. But the quick one, I'm going to show you how. Um, so uh, you can use the, any vegetable for kimchi making, but the most popular one is this humble cabbage. So this is uh, Korean cabbage, uh, onapa cabbage. Um, so uh, what happens when, ooh, yeah, hug your cabbage. I love my cabbage. So what happens is that this grows like this and there's a root uh, underneath the ground. So the outer leaves get a lot of the um, sunshine and it's green. So lots of energy. Uh, Sort of inside this cabbage and we need cabbage, uh, energy uh, for health. So um, to start I'm going to show you. Um, for those of you who want to make it with me um, please um, pay a lots of attention and uh, I'd love you to uh, be able to make it later but I'm just going to show you how to make it um, but just get um, just probably um, just get interested and pay attention, that's the thing, um, because it does take a couple of hours uh, for it to finish. Right, so I've just um, sliced or chopped up a cabbage like this, sort of like a rectangle, and I'm going to be like, be like a bit of a salt bay, but more like a Korean ajima that we just uh, Put lots and lots of salt because we're going to salt this cabbage and pickle it. So that's the first process, uh, this sea salt. Uh, so if you can just imagine um, just lots of salt wilting down your cabbage. Oops, forgot to make wear my gloves. <laughs> so my COVID safe gloves. Uh, so this is um, uh, just that you can purchase these gloves from any um, supermarket. So, just if you can just salt them as you would, you can imagine like uh, seawater. So, as salty as seawater. So, we keep it all natural. And you can pro um, speed up the process um, by adding a little bit of water, like so. And then just salting and leaving it to salt for about about half an hour 20 minutes to half an hour and then the result would be like this so this is really really important everyone you want it salted uh, and kind of limp I mean you can eat this straight away it's a pickle salted pickle but the reason why Korean kimchi is called the super pickle because there are so many other ingredients that goes in kimchi that keeps it, uh, you know, fresh for a long time. So it's um, one of the most healthiest pickles in the world. Uh, Koreans live to be a hundred. I'm only kidding. Uh, we do live a long time and a lot of people say it's due to kimchi because um, when it's fermented it has all this lactic acid that's produced and um, and it keeps your gut health uh, really healthy right so once I've salted it's wilted I wash it three times uh, to get rid of the extra salt and drain it properly so that there's um, it's well drained and it's salted and it's wilted and to this I'm going to add, mm, wait for it, Koreans just love chili, as you know, we are fiery people, so add lots of chili, well don't be shocked, 
maybe a ton of chili. Um, well, really, don't be alarmed because this is actually not that spicy because the Korean chili powder uh, that you can purchase from Korean supermarkets or any Asian supermarkets uh, is a uh, chili powder made from long green chilies. So it's not a spicy chili to start with. And this is an optional uh, thing, but this is gruel or paste made from rice flour. So all I've done was added some uh, rice flour to water and then just boiled it until I made like a like this, it's sort of got the texture of craft glue. So what, adding this, what it does, it plumps up the chili powder. Um, and also because of the extra carbs, it makes the kimchi really tangy. I don't know whether you've had kimchi um, with that tangy texture. This, uh, this is one of the ingredients that makes it so. And so that's the rice uh, paste. And then, I'm going to add lots and lots of garlic because, hey, you would know that Koreans just love garlic. Right, so lots of garlic, a little bit of ginger. We're quite dainty with ginger. A little bit of ginger. Uh, this one, I don't know whether the camera can capture this. This is called seoja. You can purchase this from Korean supermarket and what it is is salted shrimp and most kimchi had this salted shrimp sorry but this kimchi is definitely not vegan not vegetarian actually but for vegetarians and vegans uh, you can use um, uh, vegan uh, alternative fish sauce so you do need that salty fish flavor in kimchi so i'm going to add a bit of this hilja salted shrimp and some fish sauce. Uh, Korean one's good because it's saltier. Uh, if you have some uh, any other fish sauce in the cupboard, please use that. So lots of this fishy uh, sauce and a little bit of sugar, just to because to counteract the spiciness. And I've got some radish. Uh, radish here. Is another super vegetable. It's the Robin Hood to your Batman. So if you, it's um, it's an optional uh, ingredient, but please add it in uh, for extra crunch and for extra uh, taste. So I've got some radish here, and then last but not least, I've got some green onions uh, that I've chopped. So if you'd like to just uh, place some green onions into this mixture. And Koreans just use hands. So we're a whole community of cooks that love to use our hands when mixing. No need for that salad box, uh, salad um, uh, fork and uh, spoon. Uh, we toss and mix using our hands. And one of the key word in Korean cooking is a word called sonmat. Uh, son is hand, mat means taste. We're tasting our food with our hands, but it doesn't just embody uh, just hand taste. Son mat uh, embodies uh, cooking with all your senses, uh, how the food smells and how it sounds, even um, you know everything, how it feels. And son mat embodies also uh, the love of cooking and its love. And son mat always. Um, sort of you remember so much with your mother's cooking or your family's cooking. So um, you ask any uh, Korean and they will talk about sonma. Right, can you see there's a very garlicky and fishy smell going on in this kitchen. Um, so a pungent smell. So at this point, this is salad, kimchi salad. Um, let me just might just have a little taste. That's perfect to me. I mean, I've had so many decades of making kimchi, I can eyeball the ingredients. But if you're not into spicy food, just add um, less chili. Uh, if you're not into fish sauce, add less fish sauce. But this kimchi that we've just made, usually uh, we keep it 
in a clay pot like this. Um, Koreans have a very harsh winter and we used to keep it underneath the soil for constant temperature. But uh, modern days, technology is so good um, with you know, good refrigeration. So we keep it in the fridge. Um, so you put it into a, nowadays, the modern clay pot is a Tupperware or a glassware. So I would just keep it uh, in a glassware like this. You can just see, I love this color. So keep it in a glassware or Tupperware like this. Fairly full, but not 100% full because when kimchi ferments, it actually produces lots of uh, lactic uh, gases and lactic acid. And as a result, all this liquid and gas overflow and it could really ruin your bench top. So a rule of thumb is about 80 or 90% full in a, a good quality Tupperware or glassware and keep this uh, on your kitchen bench or in a shady place for a couple of days or a few days if it's cold. Uh, let it uh, ferment, it's really important, let it uh, ferment at room temperature uh, and then open it up. Uh, I made this one yesterday. Uh, the smell. Mm. Let it ferment at room temperature uh, for a couple of days and then uh, have a taste and kimchi should have a sherbety, tangy taste. Uh, if, if not, then it's, it hasn't been well fermented. So once this is sour, I mean, there's no vinegar in kimchi, and yet it's sour. It's because of the healthy lactic acid, and it's good for your health. So once it's sour and sherbety, like a lemonade chili fizz, then that's when you um, put it in the, in the fridge. Uh, and kimchi can last years. So there's no Korean uh, that um, throw away kimchi, even to the last drop. So even we use the kimchi juice and everything, and if it's too sour for your taste, then put it into your fried rice uh, or your dumplings, uh, and it'll be just uh, one of the delicious uh, dish as well. So enjoy your kimchi, stay connected with your kimchi. There's a lot of community who love kimchi, and you know, like we celebrate kimchi. We we have it every single day Koreans and I think some of our non-Koreans do that as well. So stay connected with your neighbor and have lots of harmony in your life. Thank you so much.